good morning from sunny Beamish. Yay. Oh god, our first vlog in what a couple of weeks now. We were waiting for the weather to get to get nice, weren't we? Yeah. As soon as we saw the sun out was out today, we thought let's go out to Beamish. Yeah, as you all know we've had such an awful July oh. and beginning of August, <laughs> but it's lovely today. So yeah, this uh this vlog we actually vlogged Beamish if you have watched us like oh, since the beginning really it was one of our first ever uk vlogs yeah. beamish we haven't been, been in twice, four years we've done the christmas event yeah um we have been we did, obviously before we vlogged i think we did the georgian town as well yeah. but that was back in may of 2019 so a long time four years so yeah that's why we wanted to come back today do an updated vlog because a lot has changed yeah. the 1950s town has opened it's been open a couple of years now but we haven't seen it so and also of course kelly's with us because dogs bring, are allowed. Yeah, there's certain areas that they're not allowed into, so yeah. we'll just have to. One person will go in and one will wait outside, but yeah. she can still come around the actual grounds. Yeah, all the grounds. It? Obviously, well behaved dogs, it does say on the website. You have to be on your best behaviour, Callie. <laughs> if you're naughty, you'll be chucked <laughs> out. <laughs> so, yeah, if you don't know what Beamish is, it's a massive open air museum. It's the best in the UK. I think so, yeah. I mean, we've done Black Country, and I think Beamish is so much better. It's, it's so much it's bigger. Uh, it's set from the all the way back to the 1820s yes. there's an 1820s village there's a 1900s town uh, there's a 1940s yeah. farm and of course now the 1950s town well you can see on here how big it is yeah and as well when we were walking up it said it was a 20 minute walk to the town yeah just from the entrance so uh, a lot of people are getting yeah. the uh, the trams because it's, it's it's all free but we're going to walk, obviously, we've got Callie. So, first thing we're going to do is head over to the, is it the 1900s town? Yeah, we're and going to... We're going to get some fish and chips. Callie, stop pulling me. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get some fish and chips because uh, they're lovely here. They're in, like, beef dripping. And we'll show you them when we have they them. They have the new fish and chip shop. But yeah. I, I just don't, I want to go to Debbie's. <laughs> yeah. One thing to mention as well, uh, the prices. Uh, we were actually looking at our old vlog yeah. the other night and uh, I couldn't believe it. I so saw at the start it was £19 for an adult. Yeah. It's now £24.95. But it's understandable because yeah, obviously, they've expanded. Yeah, they? they've expanded and of course inflation in those four years. But that does allow you into Beamish for a full year. So I That's still good. think it's a bargain. All the events as well. Yeah, Christmas, all, Halloween. Well, Halloween's not included. Oh, that, that's, that separate? that's a separate ticket. Oh, right. Christmas is included. Although dogs aren't allowed at uh, the yeah. Christmas and Halloween events but for 25 quid for the year you can come as much as you want it's an absolute bargain uh, I think uh, senior citizens was about 18.95 yeah. something like that as well uh, kids a little bit uh, cheaper so it's, 30 a, minutes up the road, it's a really right? cheap so. family day out yeah once you pay the first time you can come as much as you want there is so much here as well you've even got the cafe the pub yeah. the sweet shop and we'll show you bakery. all all of that in this upcoming vlog uh, we're just going to do like an overall like updated uh, vlog to what we did four years ago. Yeah. So there's the 1950s town now. So, that's so much what to see. Yeah. It? Right. Let's uh, head over to the 1900s town first. Then show you a bit around there, and then we're going to queue for these amazing fish and chips. They're lovely. Yeah. Got my own mayonnaise. As well. Yeah. They don't do it because obviously, set in the olden days, yeah. they didn't have mayonnaise. Not so remember all. to bring your own. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are then in the 1900s town. One of my favourite sets here is the school. Just take you in quickly now. As mentioned, unfortunately dogs aren't allowed in most buildings. So Stacey's just sat down with Callie and then she'll go in after. Let's have a look in here. With the attention to detail. the classrooms <laughs> seats are tiny see this must be for very young children here's a look at one of the bigger classrooms
chocolates. There you go. Hmm. Got some white bit off. And then leaving the classroom is the playground area. We used to play with them noisy things when back in the day. I don't know what they are to be honest. The one thing about Beamish obviously, all the stuff here are dressed as they would have been back in these times. There's one of the many trams. Most of them are open top as well. Dogs are actually allowed on them, I think. We may go on one later. And there's Callie. Been good. Yeah. I found out what these are called. They're called boolers. And Stacey's having a go. It's just like a hoop game, dra dragging it along the floor. Obviously, I think you have to keep it straight, Stacey. No, it's too hard. <laughs> go and try. It's obviously because the women just throws it. <laughs> Look. Well, little kids used to play with them. It's hard, Tom. <laughs> I can make it go round. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the 1900s town. I forgot to mention if you do come with a dog there is loads of uh, bowls all around the museum for dogs full of fresh water. We're here at Davies Fried Fish Shop then. Opens at half 11 so in about quarter of an hour we're going to queue up now. A little tip if you do if you are hungry early on and you don't want to wait we advise you get in the queue because it does get busy. Callie might be able to have some fish. Yeah, a bit of fish can't you? Gets quite busy, doesn't yeah. it? So, so I'll wait the other day, Yeah, well, it's a Sunday today, so it won't be as busy as it was yesterday, but still, get in the queue early and you won't be waiting long. Yeah, it's a good job we queued up when we did because that queue got massive as we got let in at half 11 so yeah best get to get there early so we've got them then we've gone for the dab and chips which is like half a fish yeah so these were seven pound fifty and you can get a full fish and chips for eleven pound however we are actually having like a beef brisket and tonight yeah, and we're meant to be on diets as well so we got one of treat. these yeah and Callie can of course have some of the fish yeah uh, yeah we're going to eat these now they're in the traditional beef dripping and they look lovely and they smell yeah loads of free benches to sit in as well just where the school is oh, them fish and chips were lovely so nice weren't they? I feel yeah. really full now. I know, just enough. Yeah. yeah, I noticed as well, I went to the toilet and I looked in the mirror. I noticed a big mark on my face. <laughs> Yesterday I was uh, hosing down oh, yeah. our patio and yeah, I whacked myself in the face with the hose <laughs> and it really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but like someone punched me imagine, full force and, and we were saying imagine if you broke your nose yeah it, it could well handle. have broke my nose uh, <laughs> i was pulling it over our shed and the the big handle of the hose oh just basically catapulted into my face so that's what that mark is but <laughs> yeah we're here in the 1900s uh, coal mine area then yeah. look at this steam train so look they've got a working steam train don't they yeah. um i think dogs are actually allowed on it i Did think I don't know, we'll have to 
track. Yeah, we'll check. You can do it. It's a little journey. Isn't yeah, it? I think it's up to um, the conductor's discretion. Yeah, and of course over here is the mine, which obviously we can't go down. Uh, I think we did it the first time we came in this vlog. Well, we've done it loads anyways. We've been to Beamish many times as a child uh, on school trips and stuff. Well, it was actually one of our first ever dates when we first got together. Oh, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Back in 2015. Yeah, that was the first, one of the first things we did. Yeah, look, there's the, uh, the coal mine. Quite busy. We go down with the, the hard hat. Yeah, all the people with the green hard hats on there. Good. I think it lasts maybe 20 minutes or so. Yeah. Little dogs can't go down. We're surprised about the amount of dogs that are here. Yeah. We've made our way over to the 1820s Pockley then. Yeah, the oldest area in Beamish. And here is that steam train we mentioned. Just a little sample of one really. Obviously it goes backwards and forwards in a straight line. It's about to take off just now. Uh, nice to see it running just then and yeah I asked the conductor dogs are allowed on so it's a little got a bit of a I queue know. now but we might come back later and it's take Collie on. It's good to know isn't it like you can take them on yeah. the buses and the trams I yeah. think it's only the lower deck as long as they're good. Yeah <laughs> and yeah well if we don't do it today we can like I say come back in the future because yeah. we have a ticket valid for one year which as I say I think is excellent value so uh, where we're going to head now what's I think we're on the way now to the town. The um, 1950s town? Yes. The new, The new bit? No, not the new bit. Uh, like the, you know, the old. The 1900s town. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to see the 1950s town. Yeah, but like when we're walking around, all of the maps are quite outdated. It's so yeah, they need to update them so we know where one. we're going to the new Yeah, the I new think country. as well, it's not actually 100% complete no. yet either. Because you have a friend who came a few weeks ago and yeah. said it's not there was a bit of construction still going still on going, so well. we'll see what has opened i know there's like a police station and a barbers and stuff like that so you can get your hair put up um in the women's hairdressers yeah. for five pounds that's good isn't which it is good. Yeah. and yeah i think there's semi-detached houses as well like how they were styled back in the 50s yeah. so look in there weather's still good it's a little bit windy it's but, windy, but it's, not, it's not nothing too bad we're having a great day so far like, we, we all love coming to beamish if you have never been we highly recommend it especially if you're local even a couple hours drive it's worth it for a, a good day out this is quite useful in the tram uh, waiting stations they've got walking times so yeah 10 minutes to the town there's a little fairground as well i don't know what's there now but we'll see Right, we're just coming into the 1950s town. Last time we were here, they had all the signs around the entrance, didn't they? Yeah, I thought, it was, I thought the 1900s was first. No, it's it this. Old map yeah. I think they've got like a little play area for the kids here on the left. Oh, look, they've got our mini golf as well. It's good, isn't it? I don't think it was much, just a few. Right, it's only a small one, isn't it? It's like an old hall building inside here and here's all of the semi-detached houses it's a big area isn't it yeah and you can see all of this is still under construction so they haven't finished it no there's a bowling green here how much 
two pound fifty for go oh, no. golf oh, yeah, medals, three seventy five bucket and spade, and you can get ice cream as well, Cinder toffee ice cream. Hmm. I look and balling. More dog balls as well. Plenty of water. Oh, this is nice. This reminds me from where we live in Darlington. We've got the South Park and they have like a, a bowling green. It's lovely. Yeah, we'll continue around. We're going to go in here. Um, Tom will probably go in first and we'll show you inside. Yeah, it looks like a cinema is still being built. Here we go, after looking the houses then, it looks just like a housing estate, this. Like on any road you'd find in the UK. But yeah, these are houses, obviously designed after a 1950s build. Let's have a look inside. So, living room, dining room. Can't go upstairs. There's the 1900s town. Well, actually, if we're looking because this part's only just open, it's 50s and not only ah, the police open, station. You see the, the miners' houses. I mean, I'm getting down if you're absolutely Scottish, and you'll see them throughout mm -hmm. all of Lanarkshire, Scotland. And, um, but what's going to happen with them? It's only a small portion. Yeah, you can tell it's 50s, can you? They say the attention to detail, it's brilliant. Look at that radio. And the old fashioned carpet and sofa. And this kitchen. Your tea bags. <laughs> Salt, sugar, there's the hob. It's more this way. I can go this way actually. Yeah, I don't know exactly how long this area has been open now, but I know a couple of years I think. Still getting built, it's took a while. Stairs on this one. Lift for disability, which is good. Stacey and Collie, what's that? I don't like the bathroom, very small. Do not use, just in case anyone is confused. Don't use that toilet. Are we there? Heads on these stairs? Move away, Dawn. That's good. TV, size of the TV. Oh, things have come on in about 70 years. Oh, 
how you can just go in and out like through all the different houses obviously it's the semi detached but you can walk through both you don't have to go through each door some more houses that's yeah, good I'll let Stacy go in now I think there was a sign down here saying what was getting built next yeah, remaking Beamish coming to the town in the future which is what's getting built we've got the Grand Cinema that'll be good Sunderland we're not far away and a toy shop and some more shops as well and just while I'm waiting for Stacy in one of the gardens to the houses, look at all the cabbage patches and yeah, they've got a little greenhouse as well which is very cool also just spoke to a lady who said there is a, another section about a five minute walk away where there's the fish and chip shop and other bits which we're going to head to now yeah so we've just walked around there there is a grand cinema opening soon I think eventually the plan will be to be able to walk from the houses through to here and go on to the 1900s town yeah this is another new bit yeah that's the hairstyling well what happened yeah yeah i think that is where you can get your hair styled isn't it yeah, there's the price. Uh, no, is it? No. Oh, it's like priced like it back in them days. Fully booked today. What's in here? What's in this bit here? Mm, just another house. Yeah, obviously all this fencing's temporary while they build that. What is this? Uh, sweets. Sweets. Oh, can you? Oh, maybe next time. Get a milkshake. Oh, it doesn't say anything about milkshakes there. Yeah. Maybe inside to do them. Yeah. And here is the fish and chip shop, which is very busy. I don't know, I can't see prices. I imagine it'll be more or less the same. I can't see them now. But I think it'll be more or less the same as the Davies one. And that's it. We're down here. Mmm. Oh, there's, there you go. Fish and chips, 7 50 and sausage and chips, 5 See, they don't do sausage and chips at Davies. So if you want sausage and chips, you can come here. Five pound, which isn't too bad. Well, let's say we're going to try that next time, aren't we? Yeah, I think that's all of the 1950s that we've seen. What did you think to the houses? Good. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Very authentic, aren't they? Really authentic. Like, when I was in the police section, the woman was saying it's not an actual proper police station. Yeah. Um, and basically what happened is it was used for like petty crime right um, and if it was like for a murder or a criminal it would go yeah they got a proper police station and there was a guy in there who had been a copper for like 11 years back in like the 70s and he yeah. was saying it's just so different to how it is now yeah and his son is now 
carried on the tradition. He's, uh, yeah, that's good. Peaceful. That's the thing with the, the workers here. Some of them actually did the occupation yeah, yeah. years ago, didn't they? Really yeah. And if you are watching and you're from that era, uh, let us know if they, if they got it right. I think it looks really authentic to what 1950s would be. Yeah, uh, we're heading to the 1900s town now then, where you've got the bakery and the bank and a few other bits and yeah we'll have a look around here before we head to the, we've got the farm left and the fairground. Yeah, we've done quite a Yeah, we've been here about three hours as well so far. It's flying on that, but to be fair as well, I'm not waiting in that queue. But if you do want traditional uh, sweets, look at the queue for it. It's the Jubilee Confectioners. Yeah, loads of different shops. There's like pottery, and there's a pub as well, the Sun Inn, which we've sat in before. The remember the Sun Inn pub? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, you can get cider from there. I think dogs are allowed actually inside. But yeah, it's really busy, so we're gonna head out. Apart from Halloween, like the busiest we've seen it. Yeah, ah, oh, we love Halloween here. We've only done it once quite a few years ago, but it's good. It's not a scare event, but it's all like it's all decorated up to be like Halloween. It's only on about three or four days, I think. Yeah, there's a dentist in there. I say we've we've showed all of this in previous Beamish vlogs we've done. We're gonna head out now. Got the next bit. I know it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, the fairground certainly looks to have expanded. Really nice sign as you enter. I think that's new for last year because it had 2022 at the bottom. Very traditional rides. You've got carousel. I'm not sure of prices. Tokens, let's have a look. £2.50 per token, he tried one token, so yeah, two fifty per ride, which is a little pricey. I don't think it ever used to be that much. I remember coming here uh, back in 2019, and I think the rides were only about a pound, to be honest, but there wasn't as many. There certainly wasn't this chair swing. Yeah, for all of you who like your traditional fairgrounds, it's a bit like Carter's Steam Fair. I know it's not steam engines or anything, but yeah, like the traditional fairground rides. Really nice Helter Skelter. Obviously, more for children. There's not really anything that we're gonna go on here today. They used to actually have a cakewalk, I remember doing. Yeah, if you've got children and you want to go on a few rides, five tokens for £10, making it £2 a ride.
just having a little break, sat on the grass. Callie's had a full ball of water. Do you like Beamish? Yeah, yeah do. she does. She's been a good girl. Mm. Enjoying it. It's hard though when you've got a dog, yeah. so I want to go into loads Obviously, of places. We can't but... go in together. No. But yeah, I mean, uh, as mentioned, Stacey just mentioned there, we are going to Orlando in four weeks today. I'm so excited. But by the time this vlog goes out, it'll be three weeks. So I do apologise if this is the last video between now and then. It probably will be. I know. To be fair, we don't have anything else planned. We're literally so. going to do a walk before we go, but we won't be vlogging that. No. Nah. Um, I know it's, it's been a bit of a quiet spell, but we have loads coming up. So Halloween as well. Exactly. If you uh, enjoyed this video, firstly, please leave a like. It does help the channel. And also subscribe because we've got Orlando coming up. We're going to back to Disney World and Universal. And I say the month of October is always it's busy. Very busy with we've got we've already events. got some Halloween events planned. Yeah. So plenty to come. Yeah. Just nothing for the next few weeks. But. We're going to miss you though, aren't we? We will, we will really you. miss her. Yeah, I think from here you walk round to the farm and I don't think there's much left to see. No, we've I think we've, we've showed pretty much all of it. It's, um, what time is it now? It's two o'clock. Two o'clock now, we, we came just after ten. So yeah, about four hours we've been here. We might get away by three -ish. I think we would have been here a lot longer if we didn't have Cali because we would have been able to go in more things. Yeah. We're going to come back at Christmas. Uh, dogs aren't allowed in that event. And it's, it's, it was lovely at Christmas last time. Yeah. And yeah. the big Christmas tree that they had was huge. Yeah, yeah, it was massive, got, got wasn't it? Things. Yeah. Right, we'll finish our drink and uh, yeah, go to the farm yeah. and see some farm animals. I think there was a pig last time. Yeah. Yeah, so Beamish always has different events on throughout the year, don't they? And this is one of them. We've got a little car show. Car club time tea centre. Yeah. It says on here on the right there. Oh, there you go, yeah. I don't know how long they're here for, but they all set up on this patch of grass. Classic cars. And yeah, you can just walk around and look at them all. There's loads, isn't there? Yeah, it's quite busy. We've just had a look at the map and I believe this is also new, it's the 1950s farm. You can see all the sheep. Well, I've certainly never walked over here before, no, so it must be. They're all in the nettles, <laughs> they must yeah. be getting stuck. Yeah, just all the buildings over there is where we started the day, with the school and the Davies fish and chips. I'm still full, aren't you? <laughs> Obviously dogs aren't allowed in the building, so I'll have a look in at that one. Thanks. Oh, what's in there? It's an old, it would have been an old um, toilet. An old toilet. <laughs> yeah. Right, one side here. I don't know if there's any animals. No. No animals there. Like a little pantry. Oh, that's quite big. I think that's it. Yeah, it's only small and I don't think there's anything over here. No. Nah. 
Nah, not a lot here to be honest. It's quite quite a walk as well that we just done. I think the the 40s farm is a bit bigger. Stacy said, "Did you go upstairs?" I said, like, "No, I didn't even realise there was stairs." <laughs> we up here. There's a couple of rooms. So obviously, it's a 1950s style farmhouse, isn't it? This is quite low. A sewing machine. God, I wouldn't like to sleep on that bed. I'd be scared what was under it in the night. Seeing too many horror films. A little storage cupboard. And this must have been the master bedroom. It's got a fireplace. Oh, cool. Yeah, a bit better now that I've seen the upstairs. And there they are. She can't see me. No, she can't, she can't see me. Uh, st oh, yeah, she's smiling. Uh, Stacy and Collie. Right, let's get to the 40s farm. So the last thing that we've got to see is the original farm. Legs are hurting <laughs> after going up that hill. I know. And loads of geese. To be fair, it's been really good um, with Callie here because yeah, we found. We read on the website, obviously, it said dogs are allowed but aren't allowed in yeah. the buildings. I thought it'd be a, a, a lot trickier, but they it's, are allowed to walk in. Yeah, all most our dogs, things. It's so. just actually going inside. So if you do bring your dog, it's yeah. it, honestly obviously it's you just fine. need two people to mind the dog. You can't. I know. Come alone with the dog, really. But it's really warm now. I've got a t-shirt. I'm starting to sweat a bit. Some more geese and ducks. I remember last time they had a pig here, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, they're cute. Oh, they've got a massive pond as well. Oh, is there some baby ones? Oh, look, I think there is. It's a bit muddy, isn't it? Look, it's gone right in the mud. Ah, oh, I found a horse. Hello. Beautiful animals. Yeah, Stacy's just gone for a sit down with Callie. Don't feed them, of course. I'm just going to see if there's anything else worth showing you before we head out. Now there did used to be a pig in this area and I'm not sure where it is now. I don't know if it's died possibly, but it was definitely there when we were last here. Is there anything? These stairs? Yep. There's just so much to see at Beamish. Mm. Here, we forgot to go in the bank. There'll be other places I've missed as well, but I feel like we've showed you most of what's here. If you've never seen it before, this is what you can expect. And I obviously imagine people born in like the 50s or 40s will appreciate it even more. Sure, you've got a downstairs bathroom. <laughs> that scarecrow. Yeah, so these are obviously like cottages for the 40s. Now oh, we found the pigs. Callie, no. Don't bark at the pigs. <laughs> yeah, they must come in here sometimes. I think there's three of them in here. Be nice. Hello. Ah, oh, beautiful. Stop barking at the pigs. She's been naughty. <laughs> You're going to get chucked out, Kelly. The barking at the piggies. <laughs> right, we're going to head out now, actually. Come on, this way. 
make our way back towards the entrance, which is just next to here. So yeah, we've done a full lap. It's been good. Yeah. He's sleeping. Ah, oh, he's absolutely gorgeous. Hello. He smells though. <laughs> Come for a drink. Oh, that one's nice. Yeah. Oh, it's grunting. Might be warm. Oh, it gets even better. Look, <laughs> look at them all. So cool. Ah, oh, it's a good job we came over this way. We weren't going. That one's having a rough look. Oh, the gorgeous Tom. Look at the one in the corner and then little neck. Ah. Beautiful. Ah, oh, great way to end the day seeing all the farm animals then. That was my favourite seeing the little piglet. Oh, so that small. Really cute. We saw a massive pig as well. <laughs> I didn't and it was show it. <laughs> yeah. They're not the cleanest of no. animals, are they? Yeah, there's where we started the day. We're heading out now. The entrance is just up there two minute walk yes yeah, so we're going to end things thanks for watching if you enjoyed this vlog remember to leave a like and a comment and as said there probably won't be anything else no. new um until orlando travel day no. in a few weeks time so stick with us today yeah and we'll be traveling down to manchester yeah, we are so staying excited. over the night before yeah we're gonna stop uh, by the trafford center aren't yeah. we and uh, yeah eat there the night before before we fly i think it's uh uh, an early afternoon, mid-afternoon flight, yeah. so not no massive rush, but we wanted to get down the night before. It's nice, isn't it, to start your holiday off? Yeah. Really excited. Obviously, we are going to be sad for leaving Callie, but yeah, she's going to be in good hands with our friends. So yeah, I think Callie's had a fun day today. She's loved it. Yeah, we may now we've got our year pass. May come back. I Christmas. don't know. If, well, we're coming back at Christmas. I don't know if we'll vlog it. We may do a, a vlog in the future once the rest of the 1950s town is complete. Yeah. I don't want to see the cinema. It's still open, love. Yeah. It's still a bit of a queue. Still a bit of a queue. Yeah. Like I say get there early when it opens. You want to get there half eleven. We were, you were straight in, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Enough. Overall, great day. So really yeah. Fun day. Thanks Loved for watching, it. and we will see you in the next vlog. Orlando travel day. Ooh. Can't wait.